Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you with a weekly guidance reading, but instead of using oracle cards, I'm going to be using one deck of tarot cards. So I, I thought I'd um, mix it up a bit because oracle card readings always give us uh, one impression of how things could be going, uh, depending, you know, regardless of what, which kind of oracle cards you're using. They kind of give us uh, a very similar message and I wanted to see if we could garner a slightly different message from this week's our, uh, guidance reading. So I'm going to call this a uh, weekly guidance um, or if you've come here for the first time, well then this is simply, or, or if you're just coming here randomly, this is simply a, a reading where we ask what is it that we need at this moment. And I'd like to take a moment to just thank all my subscribers who are loyal as well as all your regular um uh, viewers, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Thank you very much for being there. And thank you all very much who comment and leave very positive comments down there. For the one or two of you who leave um, um, a thumbs down, I think this channel is perhaps not the right one for you. Perhaps you're not really getting the right message from me. Perhaps you should just move on and find your messages from wherever else. Something that gives you the support that you need and the affirmation that you require. All right. So in the as we're working right now, uh, we're going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. They call them mystical tarot, and um, they're actually uh, basically cards by Lois Scarabio. And uh, I'm going to ask you to make a choice, choose one, two, or three, as usual. And uh, just, I don't have any stones or anything for you today. Just choose the number that feels like it resonates with you, either one, two, or three. Take a moment if you need to, pause the video if you need to, and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and start with the number one. So for those of you who've uh, chosen the number one deck here, I'm going to give these cards a quick a shuffle. The angle that I'm using today is uh, quite a close-up, so bear uh, with me. What is it that those of you who've chosen the number one need to hear for today? this week or at this moment what is it that you need to hear right now what's going to help you as you go along in this week okay and i feel that this card here is the card that you need so we have the page of wands here All right, so the way in which I read this um, and the the feeling I'm getting here is that you need to be able to temper the spirit that you have. Um, so in, on some respects, uh, as you go ahead this week, you might feel that you need to actually fire ahead and just go ahead without really uh, thinking very much, going ahead, following your passion, moving forth with a, a kind of wild spirit. But what I'm hearing here is that is worthy for you to consider taking a moment looking back at where you've come from looking back looking at where you're going to and tempering that fiery spirit so this fiery spirit which is going to accompany you uh as we go ahead or as you go ahead right now and i feel that for some of you this is not just for this week in fact for some of you this is as you go ahead until the in the next few months so it's almost like two or three months uh we're looking ahead and it's this real fiery spirit that's charging forth and it's almost as if it's a, a divine ordained or it's a, a feeling that uh, basically pushes you forth without any kind of recourse. And But the, it's necessary as you go ahead with this energy to basically be able to turn around and think about where you've come from and to look at where you've come from, but not to dwell on that and not to actually spend too much of energy on that. So for some of you, you might actually be needing to embrace an energy where you fly forth and you tackle whatever it is before you. But in fact, what's actually happening here is that you're spending too much of time in the past, too much of time thinking about who you who you might have been in the past, but who but not who you really are. So there's almost it's almost as if this energy is here to support you to move forward at quite a rapid pace to really support you as you move ahead but it's as if you're not really you either there are two um, meanings that are coming across here you're either not going ahead with that or you're going ahead with that but you're not doing so without discernment and you're going through with a fiery 
kind of energy and without actually taking into consideration all the factors that need to be considered. So let me break that down for you. As I said, there are two ways in which you can read this, or there are two energies rather that are coming forth here. One is that you're moving ahead, either fiery, in a fiery manner, and that you're not stopping back to look at where you've come from and where you need to be. The other one, it's like, as if you're kind of stuck in, in the past and you're not able to go forward, but what you need to do is embrace this fiery energy that's pushing you forward or that's there right now, giving you the support to be able to go forward. So it's almost like for those of you who are resonating with that second message, which I've just mentioned now, what you need to do is just slightly tilt your focus forward. Look at where you want to go to, look at where you're headed to, and look at what's going to benefit you as you go ahead. Okay, stop dwelling in the past, stop thinking about who you were in the past and how it impacted you or how it might have set you back or how it might have, it can be still holding you back as you go ahead right now. Stop thinking about it like that and, and just basically think about how it is that you're going to move ahead right now. Allow the feelings in the past which have caused you trauma, which has caused you sadness, which have caused you more reason to reflect on the past than needed to be left in the past and move ahead with a fiery spirit which is kind of supported by divine, by divine energy and where you fully have this energy this is the embodiment of you you have this fiery energy within you you have this energy which is unstoppable and which is determined you have the strength within you and there's nothing really stopping you from embracing that aside from perhaps you um, dwelling in what is the past and for those of you where the other message resonates where is it that you are charging forward and not actually spending a moment to turn back and look at where you've come from in order to reevaluate your path as you go ahead? So those are very simple, uh, specific messages as um, presented with this tarot card here as you go ahead. Um, I think it is either tempering that fieriness or simply um, trying to ignite more fire in you as you go ahead and that's your message for those of you who've chosen the option number one i hope that's been of assistance to you and um let me know if using these tarot cards has been as much of assistance to you as it um as it, the oracle cards have been all right i'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you so moving on now into the the, the second option so for you, those of you who've chosen number two what is it that you need to hear right now? What is going to help you? What is that tidbit of information that's going to help you as you go along in this week or as you go along in whatever in the in the weeks ahead or as you tackle whatever it is that you're tackling at this moment? All right. So once again, excuse the close-up on this angle. I'm just, not, um, I'm just not able to have access to my tripod and my camera today. Okay, so this feels right. Okay, so we have the five of cups here. Are we asking what is the message that we need to have from this? What is the actual message here? So the first thing I want to say with regard to this card is that you might be experiencing strife or difficulty as you go along in this week. You might be disappointed. You might be feeling really emotional as you move along, as you bridge this experience that you have right now. Okay. Uh, what I hear, though, is that this is all going along as it's meant to go along. So this difficulty that you're facing right now, this is it's all in accordance with a divine uh, kind of route for you and a, a divine plan for you. And you know, usually this card is that you've you've spilt three of the cups and you have two of them that's still standing and then you can look back and you still have those two cups standing and you can, you know, the meaning of it is that you you know you can be grateful for what is still there you don't need to focus on what you've lost but be grateful for what you have but here i'm feeling that you know it feels so so strong for me that what it is that you've lost 
is meant to have lost, whether it's your confidence, whether it's your feeling of um, being good at something, whether it's your feeling uh, for another person, whether it's another person completely, a relationship, whatever it is that you've lost, please let go of it. It's meant for you to let go of it right now. You have all the support that you need to be able to let go of it, whether it's a job, whether it's money, whether it's actually a part of you, a heart, your heart that's struggling for uh um, because you've lost something, allow it to be released, allow it to release itself from you, allow it to detach from you. Because what I'm hearing here is that you have been weighed down by what it is that you're contemplating. You've been weighed down by it and you've been weighed down for far too long. And what you really need to do is actually just let go. Let go of this and just be free of it so that you can go on with who you are and you have the divine support uh, right now but you don't only have a support that's coming in from outside of you to you you have a support that's within you which is a divine support it's like it's almost like your spirit or your soul is urging you to go ahead and follow your path and you might feel equipped right now to follow that path you might not feel uh, like you have all that you need at your disposal to go ahead and create what it is that you desire what you might find is that you might be but bewildered. You might, you know, have your head in the clouds a bit or not really certain about what it is that you want to do or where it is that you want to go to. You might be not able to see where your own um, kind of uh, shortcomings um, are holding you back and, and um, defeating uh, your means or your means to an end. You might actually find that, you you know, you're not able to, to, to recognize so easily some of the areas that you have in your own life that are holding you back but what this is saying is that whatever it is that is in the past let go of it whatever it is that you've experienced right now which you've lost okay whether it's a relationship whether it's work perhaps you've chosen to walk away from your work perhaps you've chosen to walk away from this relationship perhaps you've chosen to walk away from this home or this sort of something that supported you in the past which has actually you know been enabling a codependency and it's saying to you, well, you know, the path within you or ahead of you is actually chosen already. And you have all that it takes. And I, I feel like I say this so often, but here it really is that, you know, it really is that you have all that, it, that you need. And yes, you have these two cups that are still standing behind you and they're offering you support, but it's almost as if you don't even need that. It's almost as if what you have within you is enough to radiate uh, whatever it is that you want to go forward. So, it's, you know, if you are embarking on a new career and you feel concerned about money and you have maybe two degrees or two diplomas or some kind of skills that are, are you know, in your, in your backpack uh, that you know you can apply, it's almost like you don't even need to recognize those degrees or those skills or whatever it is that you have, um, you know, your whatever it is that you've done, your, you know, perhaps your internship, or whatever you don't need to even recognize that what it is is that you need to be in touch with that part of you which is part of your soul and part of your divinity and focus on that and the material things here that you have you know in in this part of the card here the material things that you have here i actually you need to set that back you need to see how it is that you can live without that and you don't really need this, even though you have this as a backup. It's like you don't even need this. What you do have is this energy here, which is kind of connected. You know, it's like you and your part, your divinity is connected to that greater divinity, which allows you to go ahead and create whatever it is that you want to. But are you giving yourself the permission to do that? Are you giving yourself the permission to do that? Where are you so um, kind of used to thinking in a particular way that doesn't allow you to be able to simply surrender to that which is you and that which is divine in you that helps you to go forth at this moment so that is the question that i want to leave you with this week where is it that you're holding yourself back where is it that you are not trusting enough and where is it that you're not able to simply surrender to that which is you and that which your soul desires you to Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that for the week and uh, good luck as you go ahead. Recognize that um, you are supported not just by the outside, but by within the force that you have within you and that you need not be so dependent 
on these cups that are here, all right? You can go ahead and you will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with that for those of you who've chosen the option number two. And I'm moving on to the option number three. So for those of you who've chosen the option number three, the question is, what is it that you need to know at this moment? What is it that's going to assist you as you go along in this week or in the weeks ahead? And what is it that you've come here to hear? Okay, this feels right. And I want to just apologize for that very close... Um, shot that I have here. So because I'm using the tarot cards, I usually read my tarot cards reversed as well as upright. But because I'm reading them today as a, as a kind of um, oracle uh, guidance or kind of divinatory guidance, and actually what I'm trying to aim for is, is simply using these cards as, as a, a spot from which to uh, to inspire me as to your energy and what it is that you need to hear. I'm not going to read this in reverse as it came out. I'm actually going to read this upright, okay? So um, this is how I'm reading the cards, and you're welcome to read your cards in whichever way you desire, all right? So the card here is number nine. We have the nine of wands. And, um, you know, if I were to read this card, this card in the reverse, I would say, okay, well, it's time, you know, for you to stop holding yourself back. It's time for you to basically go ahead with what it is that you've been wanting to go ahead with, but not, um, you know, be too defensive or not enter into the playing field like the fool or too reckless. What, I hear, what I'm hearing here, though, for you, uh, for those of you who come here for this kind of divinatory guidance, which I like to channel for you on a weekly basis, is that there is... Um, it's almost like this person is, is quite sure of, you are quite sure right now of where it is that you're headed to. You're quite sure of where it is that you are and what it is that you've done. And, you know, even if you're not feeling that, even if you're feeling like a little bit desperate or not really sure about where it is that you need to go, or what it is that you need to do, all you need to do at this moment is simply stop. Stop and bring that calm and bring that stillness within you. Because all the answers that you have and you need are within you right now. And you need not be defensive about what it is that you choose. You need not be insecure about where it is that you're headed to. You just simply need to bring yourself into a place of quietness and stillness and feel what is right. Okay? So I feel like I've said this in one of my previous readings, but don't go seeking outward for advice. Don't. That's wasting your time. It's wasting your money. It's wasting your energy, okay? Don't seek outward at this moment. For you, you need to actually just go inward and be still within yourself and the answers are going to come to you here. And this is the, your, your message for this week. It's also talking about the fact that, you know, you've been defensive for far too long and this defensiveness has been helpful and it's been necessary until a certain point. But right now, it's not really necessary anymore. Right now, you can put down your baton, you can put down your wand, you can put down whatever it is that you're using to defend yourself. You need not explain yourself to anyone. You can go ahead and make the decisions that you need to make in your life and you need not explain it to anyone. You need not, um, you know, be. it's not necessary for you to live up to the ideal of the Joneses or to live up to that kind of peer pressure that you're faced with. You simply need to put down your defenses and take pride in what it is that you desire and go ahead with that. And the other advice that I'm hearing here is choose one at a time. Go, go with one thing at a time. If you have many projects ahead of you, tackle one after the other, okay? It's necessary for you to just tackle one after the other because what's going to happen is if you're feeling too overwhelmed with all of what you have before you, you're going to start feeling uh, like, you're in, like your security is being eroded. You're going to start feeling like your confidence is being eroded and that you, you're going to start feeling insecure about yourself. So tackle one thing at a time. If this week is only for uh, kind of practical work, then go ahead and immerse yourself completely in that practical work. If next week is only for study or theory, then immerse yourself only in study and theory. And don't actually, and that's just an example, by the way, of course, that doesn't apply to all of you. 
but go ahead, compartmentalize what it is that you need to focus on right now. Recognize what your priority is right now and put all your energy behind that and recognize that you don't need to defend yourself. You don't need to actually um, be something more than you are as, as you go along. And also, the other thing I want to say is nobody's watching you. Nobody's actually standing there and watching and saying, oh, I wonder how she's going to perform. I wonder how he's going to perform. Um, it's just you. It's just you who's doing this to yourself. And you don't need to answer to anyone but yourself. So if you can just take the pressure off of you right now and simply allow yourself to be as you are, then you will find out where your insecurities are, where you lack confidence. And you can actually allow yourself to build that, that confidence rather than be um debilitated by the lack of okay so i hope that's made sense to you i hope that's been helpful to you i feel that um there are more messages here there's so many different messages here coming through with this nine of wands and i i want to go on speaking but i fear that i will speak for far too long and this reading will become uh too long and you wouldn't really appreciate it if it is that long i know that we're all quite busy and we don't have loads of time to pay attention to these kind of things so i um i'm going to stop there and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead i hope that this has been useful and i hope that using tarot cards as a means of oracle divination has actually been of use for you today let me know how you found that and let me know how you're getting along. Okay, I'm sending you much love and many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.